Hi, this is Mace Hibbert, and you're watching Best of Atlanta Concerts TV. Today, that's for sure. Is this your first time playing at the Olympics? No, I actually played, I'm going to get the year wrong, but it was probably 2007 or 8. It was the year it was uh, right next to Georgia State in that park. Um, so it, it was uh, during the years where Piedmont Park was having the drought problem. So this is the first time I've really at the Jazz Festival, I think. The other time, it was great, and it was a great experience, but something about being in the park and all the people, it's, it's, it's very special. My plans are to keep trying to play, make the best music I can, to be honest. Uh, I've got some ideas for some projects. Um, I'm obviously going to keep the quintet together um, with Melvin and, and Lewis and the guys. and we'll, we'll, we'll keep working on some new material and put out an album at some point. But I have some other side projects with some other musicians in town that I don't get to play with as much as I'd like to that we're going to start trying to put some stuff together and see what happens. And hopefully by by working with other musicians it'll also help my band kind of grow and expand because you know more experiences and more musical experiences We like to put jazz especially into smooth jazz or contemporary jazz or swing or whatever and uh, as you know, as you've heard my sets, there are some of my tunes that are gospel and there's some drum and bass on there and there's certainly some, some pretty heavy swing and so I, I write what I hear and I have a lot of influences from, from rock to classical to, to jazz and so you know, if I write an album that some people consider that maybe it's more smooth or they consider it more country and western, I don't know, uh, then that's what I'm hearing and feeling at the moment. And I think as long as it's, as I'm being true to myself and the music and the guys in the band are doing the same thing, I think it'll, it'll all work out. I can only write music that I'm hearing at the moment and that I'm feeling at the moment. And if I forced myself to sit down and write a mambo, then it might not be as authentic to me as if it just kind of came out of practicing. Or I played a gig with somebody and they played something. I was like, wow, that's really interesting. I, I, that ins that's inspirational to me. I, I, I find it hard to write music sort of when I'm told to, <laughs> if that makes sense. I, I have to find inspiration from for many things. I mean, it can literally be anything.
Hear me now. to be people are always going to worry about jazz and I think this festival shows that while we need to worry about it because once you stop worrying about it is when bad things can happen there are a lot of people that are interested in the at least the idea of jazz and I think the problem is is that we don't do a good enough job the musicians the booking agents the club owners everybody of making sure people know about it there are plenty of things especially in this city the the high museum on Fridays um, Fernbank has a, a concert series. There are all sorts of these little concert series that have jazz and people show up all the time. But we still have this idea that people don't like jazz. And I, you know, again, I think if the music is good and I think if the music is honest, people respond to it whether they understand it or not. At least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> By playing this festival, I gained five fans or ten fans that will actually go to my website or buy my record and then try to come to Churchill Grounds or come to the High Museum or come to Cafe 290 and see, see me, then this is a success. You know, and for me, where I am, it's just building, you know, and a year from now, hopefully I'll have more fans than I have now and then five years and, you know, it's... For me, I always tell my students, you, you have to respect the journey. You can't just look for the, the results. And we talk about it in terms of practicing and music, but I think in, in terms of career that's important too, is you have to understand that it's a process and there are things that you can do to, to help that process, but you also sometimes just have to be patient and just let it happen. If, if I had played the festival this, the year after I moved to Atlanta, uh, I don't think I would have been ready or the music wouldn't have been as good or I wouldn't have been as comfortable. I think these things happen when they're supposed to happen a lot of times. Hi, this is Mace Hibbard. You're watching Best of Atlanta Concert TV. Is that right? I'll do it again. Take two. Best of Atlanta Concerts. Best of Atlanta Concerts. Best of Atlanta Concerts. You're listening to Mace Hibbard and you're watching the Best of Atlanta is that the right? <laughs> <laughs>